Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn how to use Project Lombok inside a Quarkus application. Let's start and follow my steps. I'm going to update the project used in the previous video. It contains three different Java files, movieresource.java with all rest endpoints, movie repository that represents the panache repository to manage the movie entity and the movie java bean represent my movie entity with a title, description and country. You are going to update this class. Before that, you have to import the project Lombo Maven dependency inside your Quarkus application. Let's open the POM XML file and add the following dependency. Good. After that, go inside the movie Java bin and remove all getter and setter methods. Now you can use some annotation provided by Project Lombok. After the annotation entity, add the annotation data. Then add all arts constructor and in the end, the annotation required arcs constructors. Before moving on, let's open the terminal and run the project in development mode with the command mvn clean compile quarkus dev. As you can see inside the log, the server is up and running on the port 8080 and by default the debug port to attach it is 5005. If you open the movie resource.java, you will see an error arise by Visual Studio Code because it cannot find the get method for the ID field. You are going to fix it later on. Before that, let's try the create endpoint in debug mode. Good, you hit the first breakpoint and you can see you still have an error from Visual Studio Code. If you wanted to use the debug console to inspect the git ID, Visual Studio Code it will raise a compilation error, but in reality that point completes the operation. Let's try now the get by ID. Good, it's working. Now let's finally fix the issue with Visual Studio Code. You have to import the Lombok extension. Let's install it and after that restart Visual Studio Code. Good, now let's try it again to debug the create method. You don't see any more the error and you are able to use the debug console to inspect the value of getID or any other field. Remember that this is possible because you are using the annotations provided by Project Lombok even if you have removed all the getter and setter methods inside the movie Java bin. I want to show you another interesting annotation that you can use inside your unit testing. On the top of the movie Java bin, add the annotation builder. Now let's create a movie test class to put all unit tests. You have to test all the getter and setter methods, and you need to declare a movie object. Create a void int method with the before each annotation where inside it you have to instantiate the movie variable. Of course, you can use the new keyword and then use all the setter methods below. But with the builder annotation, there is a more elegant way to achieve the same result. 
you have to type movie equal movie.builder and then choose all methods to insert a value for each field of movie. This is possible through builder annotation provided by Project Lombok. Good, now write your test for the ID field. Let's check the variable movie, then let's check the current value of get ID. And in the end, let's modify and check again the ID value. Let's do it for all other fields. When we have finished, run all the tests inside the movie test. Good, it worked. You will learn how easy it is to use Project Lombok inside a Quarkus application with Visual Studio Code. The source code of this video you can find it inside my GitHub repository. Feel free to clone it. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.